Hello, my name is Julie and I represent Via Chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate teddy bear using the three part molds from Porto Formas. Are you ready to make our chocolate bears? I'm going to use our three part mold from Porto Formas. In here, you can see a little mark. It's where we are going to put the chocolate. We are going to pour, but you cannot pass the mark. These molds are so easy to use. They are practical and will save you a lot of money and it's not going to make a lot of mess. When you finish pouring the chocolate, you gently tap, but just a little, to eliminate any air bubbles. Okay, now you're done and we are going to use the flexible part. You don't need to press yet because we are going to put the third part and gently you are going to press and see the magic happen. Look at that, guys. And we are all done. You turn around and you just spread a little with your fingers. When you're done, you take to the fridge for about 12 minutes or until you see that it's opaque. It can't be shiny anymore, okay? Some people have problems to take it off because it's not opaque yet. But don't worry, you wait. When it's opaque, it's going to be very easy for you to remove your chocolate. Our chocolate teddy bear is ready. Can you see that it's opaque? And now I'm going to show you how to remove from the mold. First, I'm going to remove this top part here. And gently, you pull this part. And now we are going to turn and press just a little. Wow, look how beautiful it is and so shining, look! Once it's out, you can remove the excess with your fingers and our chocolate teddy bear is ready to be filled. Now, I have all set up to start the filling. You see, I'm using a bowl to put the mold on top to keep the chocolate in place. It's going to be easy for us to do the filling. To fill your chocolate bear, you can use anything you want. You can use cake filling, chocolate filling, dulce de leche, any filling that you like. And for this one, I'm going to use strawberry filling. I put in the piping bag because it's going to be easier for me, but you can use a spoon, you can use with your hands, do it the way you like. When we finish the filling, we are going to put a little bit of the chocolate on top so you can seal it. I'm going to use the same chocolate that I used to make the chocolate bear. I'm using chocolate coating because this one you don't need to temper. You can just melt straight from the microwave. So let's do this. You can use a spoon or a piping bag the way you think it's easier for you. I'm going to use a spoon to finish this one. Now it's ready and we are going to bring it to the fridge until it's hard. You can check because that will depend on your fridge. I just removed our chocolate teddy bear from the fridge and it looks like it's ready. We can tell because it's hard, you see? Now we are going to remove from the mold very carefully and it will come out very easily. Wow, look how shiny and beautiful is our teddy bear. I'm going to show you how to make some fur and it will look very realistic. I'm going to get some chocolate with the silicone brush and spread all over the bear. Thank you. 
You can decorate the way you like. You can even use the fondant to make the eyes, the nose, make the little cute face. And also you can make themed decorations for Christmas, for Halloween. Look how cute it is. Now you take to the fridge to set a little bit and it's all done. Another way to decorate our chocolate teddy bear is using the hobby core. It's very easy and I love it to use this one. All you have to do is mix the luster dust with some grain alcohol. You can also use vodka if you like. It's okay, it's going to work really well too. Let's close it. Make sure you lock it, okay? And you just need to spray all over the chocolate. Let's do this. Make sure you spray to cover the entire bear. Our teddy bear is going to look awesome. And to make your bear even more unique, you can use the splatter technique that I'm going to show you just how to make it. We are going to dissolve some luster dust. I'm going to use the green one because it's going to look like Christmas. You just put some and you mix with the grain alcohol. I'm using a makeup brush and you make sure to use a clean one. You can use any kind of brush you want and you are going to splatter all over. And now to the final touch, you can add a little bow on your chocolate teddy bear to look even more beautiful. Look at that. And also you can place in a beautiful box with tissue paper and it's going to be a beautiful present. I'm sure anyone would love to receive a gift like this. If you like this video, give us a like and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any question, let us know down below. If you want to order the Porto Formas molds, the Hobby Core or any decoration supplies, you can go visit viachef.com. I'll see you next time.